if I want to accept the value of A and B from user, what would I want to accept the value of variable A and B from user? What should I do? Add the scanner class and do system in. Okay, that's one way to do it. Okay. Somebody has an alternate approach I can take because I have two inputs. Should I have two local inputs? Or can I create a value returning method and do it that way so that I don't have to repeat myself? Is that a possibility? So remember in the previous example, uh, in the review for chapter three, remember we created a value returning method. And anytime we wanted to accept an input from user, what did we do? We called that method. The method was given a uh, value uh, in terms of whatever the statement is. And it will display that message and we'll accept an input and we'll return it back. Do you guys remember that? Our first example? Yes. Yeah. So can we do something like that here to do that? Yes. Okay. Now, so those are two approaches, right? So we, have, we can have a local scanner object in the main or we can create a method outside and we can call that method and pass some kind of a message to it and make it do the input for us and return the value back. So two approaches. What's the third approach? The third approach is that if a method like that already exists in another class, I can also call it. Does the method like that already exist? You will say yes. Where does it exist? It exists in review chapter three. So instead of reinventing the wheel, I will first of all make sure that that method that I'm about to call value is public. Public methods can be called from outside of the class. And this is called the association concept in object-oriented programming. When one class calls another method, uh, a method from another class. So that's how the classes get associated with each other. So instead of having to reinvent the wheel, I can say review chapter three dot, and do you see value comes up in the list? And I can say here, enter a and i can repeat the same for b enter b isn't it neat that once you do it you can just reuse it not only within that class but any other class within the project so now when you run this example See, it asks you enter a value for A. It asks you enter a value for B. And here you go. You have an output.